we're really pleased uh, to welcome our next guest into the program. Mark Calderwood is joining us from Midas Minerals. Shares jumped as much as 19% yesterday after further results from its Newington Lithium Gold Project in WA returned high-grade lithium results. Mark, welcome to the program. Thank you for joining us here today. Uh, give us the rundown Thanks. because, uh, you know, there's been quite a lot of activity coming through. So why is this so positive? Uh, it's positive because uh, as we lead up into drilling, uh, we are finding lithium mineralization in, in surface outcrops. And it's just a, a, a um, pleasing start to uh, exploration on what is a very large uh, target area. And we'll find out a bit more information as, as drilling um, commences. And when, when will drilling commence? Uh, later this week, we expect, uh, or early next week. So there's certainly um, in August, but um, weather depending, we should be uh, later this week or early next week. Okay, so when it comes to the announcement made yesterday, it couldn't have hurt that it was made on a day that the United States has committed even more uh, to the EV space. We saw US automakers you know, really rising on the back of it, Canadian lithium producers as well. Um, when it comes to how you view demand for the lithium product going forward, you know, where do you start? Well, I think this is the this is the third boom that lithium's had, um, and this one has got, I believe, is going to be the one that takes us right through to 20, 2030. Um, I mean, everyone knows now we have to go uh, we have to go electric cars. I think everyone's there was a long, long period of um, trying to avoid the inevitable. Uh, the higher oil prices have sort of put a put a line under that, and I think it's now as as the as the world, the car makers move towards 2030. It's um, we're in that start of that big ramp up of demand. Uh, however, a lot of the lithium miners and producers have come under a bit of pressure so far this year. Um, I guess it's all a matter of timing, isn't it? Because there will be a supply uptick to meet this increasing demand. So when it comes to Midas. When do you anticipate you'll be able to get some of this lithium actually to market? If you're looking at just starting drilling today, it's still a long process. Uh, yes, yeah, so I think we're, we're, we're years off from production, a couple of years off production, but demand will continue to, to grow strongly. Uh, there hasn't been a lot of new projects, uh, mines being built actually. There's, 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 there's hardly any since the 2019 boom of, of new mines coming on stream. So. We believe, even in a couple of years' time, that demand will still be very strong for lithium. When it comes to a Midas, though, it's not all about lithium. It is about gold as well. Uh, just give us some sort of an update on the other operations uh, that you have going on. Yeah, so we've been we've got recently announced some good drilling results from our our uh, Weibo Gold project. Uh, we're also working on our uh, Chala uh, project, which is. Um, platinoids as well as gold and uh, nickel copper potential as well. Uh, so we've got a quite a wide range of uh, elements that we're focusing on uh, and we expect more results uh, throughout the year.